Uh, this video will speak about the rank corruption and the rank misrepresentation within the FMK. Um, I mean, I've only been operating this physical school for like only two years. Maybe not, not even two years. And um, already there's corruption within the ranking system. And it's hard to fix this corruption even at this early stage. Um, so basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to limit eliminate the the public notification of rank as far as like putting the information on the website and what's required and what's not, you know what's required to get rank um, that's not no, no longer going to be on the website um, people are people basically people are not going to exactly know what's required specifically um, and then also just taking down the whole visualness of the rank as far as like displaying it on the walls or anything I'm taking it all down and I'm not happy with the way that the rank has been represented um, thus far um, there's only a few people that are representing it currently um, up to my standards and expectations and those individuals are listed on the website but the individuals that are not listed are the ones that are pretty much um, going to be not considered ranked because there's been a um, a lack of consistent training and lack of um, the following of simple requirements and orders and just simple simple rules you know so basically I'm putting a lot less emphasis on the rank because I'm not happy with the way that it's that it's of the outcome and I've spent um, a lot of money on the badges and the uniforms and they're all just sitting there but I'm not going to just pass it out like candy or pass it out to people that don't deserve it just because I'm willing to just um, lose all that money in order to uphold what I feel that the rank should be representing and I want to um, basically just put less emphasis on the rank and just focus on the, the individuals that are truly appreciating the teachings and focus on um, getting them to a higher level and the people that don't really care about their progression then they will just progress according to, to their own pace but um, only the people on the website from now on out are the ones that are representing actively there's still there are badges that are floating around where it's not being re represented there's shirts floating around where it's not being represented so there's already corruption and um, you know you put in a, in a position where you are sacrificing your business and the profits that come through the door when you try to discipline people and if they don't want to be disciplined then they want to leave and then you lose business so basically what ends up happening is like you know you give somebody a rank when they deserve it but then when they no longer meet the standards and you want to take it back and then when you try to get it back then they want to leave then you're hurting your business so basically it's like a fat black belt you know somebody that's in shape gets a black belt but then he gets all fat and lazy and you would try to th take the black belt back then they don't want to give it back and they want to quit then it hurts your business you know so then I'm like you know what let's just take away this whole rank and let's just um, basically I'm gonna give it to the people that truly deserve it and if they don't want to give it back then they can keep it but as far as the website is concerned their names are coming down 
used to not represent me. You know what I'm saying? So the website is the only thing that I really have full control over. I can't force somebody to give um, the shirts or the badges back. I can't do that. Because if they don't want to give it back, then they just don't give it back. Okay, then don't give it back, alright? But um, I do have full control over the website and um, what's whose name is up there and who's not. The people that aren't up there, they're not representing right now. They're inactive. In order to be ranked, you have to be active. You know, so that's pretty much what it is. And this is um, something that, you know, this is a major change that's going on. And I feel at this point, there's, there's not many people that are, that are going to be um, representing it the way I want it to rep be represented. So um, I'm going to have to keep going, moving forward, regardless if there's anybody behind me or not, I'm still moving forward. And I'm still going to be representing it to the best of my ability until um, I die. And in the meantime, I'll just keep training to um, support my family, support the coon, just keep training people. But it's, it's a clear fact that 98% of the people out there aren't ready for the real martial arts. Um, they're not even at the basic fitness standards of what's required. So I can't focus all my energies on... Uh, this ranking thing because it's not doing anything positive for the coon. People are just using it as a way to enhance their ego, to make themselves feel better about themselves, but then they're not even upholding these basic standards. You know, and it's already, this is just the beginning and it's already getting corrupted. I can already see that this is not the right, the right path to go. Um, people are just, it's, it's best to do away with the whole ranking thing and to maybe have just very selected few individuals that that you know that are by your side they're going to be representing it not just for now but for life so if there's nobody can be found then hey you know I'm doing it on my own I'm going to continue to do it on my own and that's that's just what it is you know I see the difficulties of running a school and trying to train people to be at a high level it's not an easy thing it's very difficult it takes a lot of time, it takes a lot of patience, it takes a lot of money. And, you know, the society, modern society, the people, their mental state is not, is not in congruency with what is required to be a martial artist. You know, people are still smoking and drinking, going to the bars, hanging out at the clubs, and they're, they're, they're not mentally even there for the martial arts they let their bodies go I mean it's just spiritually they're all messed up I mean it's just so much work to do that it's um you almost end up losing hope like this is like almost hopeless so you're like you know what scratch that let's go let's let's find another way let's do something else and that's pretty much what I'm heading towards is doing something else. Let's um, continue to have fun in our training. Just do our thing. Get a good exercise. Learn some techniques to defend yourself. But don't expect too much from these people. Because really, um, my expectations, even though I don't think that they're that, that it's not much of expectations, People are having a very difficult time meeting up these basic, rec you know, rec you know, expectations. And I'm like, you know what? I don't got time for this. You know what I'm saying? I'm ready to move forward, and that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna keep moving forward and keep doing it and doing it and doing it. And if there's no one behind me, then there's nobody behind me. That's it. whatever. You know, but um, you know, there are people out he in here that are training hard. But they're just going at their own pace. You know, they got a lot of th things going on. They might got to go to school. They might have a family. They might be married. They might got to work all the time. So they just can't progress quickly. It might take them 10 years, you know, to accomplish something that somebody else could do in one year. Because they just don't, they're not, they don't have that much time. And that's just what it is. Not a big deal. All right. But who's going to be able to progress quickly with me? It's going to be a selected few. So that's just what it is. 
So that's the update on that.